All right, welcome, listeners. On this episode, we are discussing the release of Andrew Tate. Yes, he is a free man. All right, let's do it. Hit that intro, y'all. Y'all know how we do it. Can you feel it? Can you feel it? Right, ladies and gentlemen, what is up? Welcome to the show. My name is Chris Talks, and this is the Chris Talks Show. Can I get a little background? Oh, there we go. There we go. Thank you. That was quick. He was quick with that one. He was quick on that one. All right, what's up, everybody? Welcome to Chris Talks. Okay, so before we get into the show... We just gonna pay the bills right off the top. So you can follow me on YouTube at Chris Talks eleven ninety. Also at Facebook at Chris Talks and on Instagram at Chris Talks forty. And as always, show your love at that dollar sign, Chris at dollar sign, <laughs> Chris app at that dollar sign, Chris Talks show seven one eight. All right, <laughs> that's on that cash app. That's where you can send that. So, thanks. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in. So, we are talking about Andrew Tate and him being free. So, this is um, this is supposedly his first interview. Turn that down just a little bit. There we go. So, this is supposedly his first interview out of uh, jail. And for y'all who don't know, Andrew Tate was... Um, Arrested and accused of human trafficking or sex trafficking, one of those. But he was accused of yeah human trafficking, which I doubt he did. But um, let's listen to um, let's listen to the clip. Drop the music real quick. Let's listen to the clip. It's in the United States say that the U.S. Embassy in Bucharest, Romania, was tipped off to your misdeeds and alerted the local authorities you might be committing human trafficking. Um, given that this is the same charge they leveled against Julian Assange or a species of it, you know, skeptical, but I, I want to know the details. Were you arrested for human trafficking? What, what happened? Yeah, I was not arrested. So what happened is I suffered from a case of swatting. It's very popular with people who are large on the internet. Many large YouTubers have been swatted. It's where you call the police and you say somebody has a gun or there's a hostage situation and the SWAT team arrives. Somebody made a phone call to the American embassy saying that I was holding women at my house. The police arrived. And let me state this now. I state this uh, openly to the world. I have absolute respect for the police. I would hate to live in a country where if you call the police saying women are being held against their will, that the police don't respond. That would be terrible. Of course they should come and look. Absolutely. They turned up. They investigated. They realized that nobody was in the house against their will. There was no crime committed. They said, okay, you're not a suspect, but you are a witness to this, along with me, my brother, the housekeeper, uh, the gardener. Everybody who was in the premises at the time was labeled a witness. We had to go to the police station for 45 minutes for pieces of paper. We filled them in, and we were let go. I was swatted. Nobody was hurt. There's no human trafficking. All right. Y'all heard me. He said he was Watch it. Swatch it. Bring back my background music. Thank you. He said he was swatted. So that's Andrew Tate. And he's talking to, uh, what's this guy's name again? Tucker Carlson. So that's who he's talking to. That's who that interview, interview was with after he came out of jail. So Tucker Carlson interviewed him. And that's what he had to say. He was being swatted. I don't know about that swatting joint. To all the listeners out there, don't swat me, dude. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't swat me. Everybody, don't swat me. Okay? So, um, uh, please don't swat me because I don't want to be swatted. I don't want nobody calling no SWAT team to my location, sending a bunch of people up here to arrest nobody. Um, and that was crazy how they just sent, they sold a whole SWAT team to his house 
and everybody on the premises was arrested. Like, can you imagine that? You a housekeeper doing your job, SWAT team come up, you get arrested and stuff, you start thinking about your papers, if they correct and everything. You start wondering, you know what I mean? Is my papers correct? Did I do something wrong? Are they, uh, is this immigration? <laughs> like, that's, that's that's the first thing you do. You know, you, you, you probably, oh, my papers is not right. Immigration is here. Oh, man, it is over. <laughs> it is over. I mean, that's what I probably would have been thinking, but they took the entire staff. And to me, that was messed up. The entire staff. So if that was the case of the swatting that somebody actually did that to Andrew Tate, that is kind of messed up. I mean, for real. Let's just, let's be adults about it. That is kind of messed up. But he said that the police did investigate. And then I want to uh, hint in on that, too. What kind, I mean, really think about it. If I'm um, a human trafficker, a sex trafficker, even drug trafficking, anything. If I'm trafficking anything illegally, why would I be grateful that the cops showed up? Let's think about that for one second. Why would I be thanking the cops for showing up to investigate what was going on if I was doing something like that? That makes no sense. That's what I'm saying. People, like, pay attention to what these people are doing. What these, how they, what's the word I'm looking for? About this cancel culture. About how they are really trying to sit there and make people look completely messed up and try to cancel them. But not just to cancel them, but they want the masses to just cancel them, just reject everything that they say in. First they cancel them. Well, according, because there's another one. I don't know if, um, we could probably find that one. If y'all want, y'all, yeah, y'all could probably find that one. To where he's saying, quote unquote, these are Andrew Tate's words, not my word. To where they go through these different stages. And one of the first stages is to cancel you. The second stage is like to make you look crazy and stuff. Or, you know, put you in a hospital or in jail. And then the third one is to kill you. I mean, I don't know who these elite people are. Don't cancel me, please. I don't know who these elite people are. I don't even want to know who they are. But it's effed up if that's the situation. Like, you're just cutting people off or trying to have them terminated because they're speaking the truth or because the influence that they have is a positive one. So, I mean, come on. I said this before. I did a show about Andrew Tate before. People just need to, to leave this man alone. They 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 already canceled him on everything. They still mad because he's still out there doing it. He's still making money. He's still just as popular as he was before. So I mean to the masses, I mean to those people that are on the top, I think this is it's worthless to keep going after him. Cause every time you go after him, you just build a bigger audience for him. So, I mean, to me, I would just cut it out. That's that's just my opinion. Because that's what we do here on Chris Talks. We, I give you my view, my opinion on the situation and the topic, and then you go from there. You know, but this is my view. I don't, I don't see how that man was doing it. If... If that's the case, because we don't know if the charges, um, well, he said there were no charges, so they just let him go. So, I mean, I, I think that's the discrediting part that they're doing. They're just trying to discredit him or whatever and make him look bad. But, I mean, you judge for yourself. You judge for yourself. And um, what's my time? Because I'm about to wrap this up. 
Because I get, I'm real frustrated with this Andrew Tate thing. I think this thing is just going too far. People need to leave this man alone. Let him live his life. And that's just it. Let him just keep on speaking that positivity into men and trying to build men up. Let him do it. Everybody mad because he's going against the Matrix. So what? I go against the Matrix. I go against, I don't want the type of fame he got. But yeah, there's a lot of people out there that go against the Matrix. Not everybody is with the Matrix. You know what I mean? So, um, I don't know. You tell me what you think. You tell me what you think. Do you think this Andrew Tate thing is going just a little bit too far? I think it's going too far. So, I don't know. Y'all tell me. So, I'm going to end the show on that note. So, we got a good time. I got to go. Listen, I got I to gotta go pick up my baby. So we're going to end this one real, real quickly. So, a little bit early. Not quickly, but a little bit early. We're going to end this one a little bit early. So, um, everybody, as always, uh, follow me on YouTube at Chris Talks 1190, Chris Talks on Facebook, and Chris Talks 40 on Instagram. And then show me some love at that dollar sign, Chris Talks Show 718. Um, as always, you could have been anywhere else in the world, but you are here with me. And I appreciate that. Until next episode, God bless and don't be stressed. I see y'all later.